Hey guys, what's happening? You're watching Press Start TV here at E3. We're here with Dan Wasson from World of Warships and Randy King from Masters of Orion uh, with Wargaming. Let's talk about World of Warships first. What can players expect from this uh, installment of the game? Well, we've been in closed beta for some time now, and we're happy to announce we're going to open beta at the end of this month. So end of June, we're going to open it up. Uh, we've been focusing really heavily on customization, so we got a lot of great features. The achievement system lets you unlock uh, consumable boosts that you can use in battle, and those are going to help gameplay. So it's not just to make the ships look awesome, but it's actually going to have an effect on gameplay. So why World of Warships? I know World of Tanks obviously was a ma huge, massive hit, huge following. It just seemed like the next uh, thing to do, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's been a passion project for us for a long time. The team in St. Petersburg really loves trying to deliver this iconic uh, World War II authentic historical experience. And so that's just been something we've been working on for, for many years now. So how many players can actually be in a match? Um, you're going to say 15 on 15 on each side, nice. up to, that's the max, yeah. So that's a lot 30, of, Will. Uh, uh, I thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a lot of chaos going on on the screen all at one time. Yeah, it can be. Cruisers, battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, is all going to be there. Excellent. And, and when is, is it? A bit, when is the ETA for the uh, um, release of this? Open open beta is the end of this month, so we haven't got an exact date yet, but okay. we'll let you guys know real soon. Excellent. Excellent. Gage? So, Randy, yes, sir. Master of Orion. Uh -huh. I got it right that time. Uh, yes. Sir. Yeah. First take, I didn't. So anyway, let me. What I love doing is talking to people who work on this game and having them open up with their big pitch. Like when they introduce this game to someone, what's their thing? So right now, give me your elevator speech on Master of Orion, so and educate everyone what this awesome game is. All right. So Master of Orion for Wargaming is a reboot of the classic iconic series of the 4X uh, strategy space games. In fact, Master of Orion was one of the very first. And uh, if you've ever heard what 4X means, 4X means explore, expand, exploit, and exterminate. And it was coined from Master of Orion. So we are rebooting the series, and what we've done is try to stay as true to the original as possible with all the elements of that gameplay, but add a flair of today to it. Upgraded graphics, beautiful graphics. We hired uh, AAA voice talent and have incredible animations on all the different races. Uh, the first release will be the initial 10 races that were from Master Orion 1. And You'll explore the galaxies, expand your empire, exploit your resources, and occasionally have to go to war, enhance, in, in, in other words, exterminate. I have the same problem with rats, you know, the 4X for rats in my house. Um, now, how big is this game actually going to be? Like, how expansive is this universe? The universes actually are decided by you. So when you start the game, you can choose from small to huge um, uh, galaxies. And uh, for example, the huge galaxy has over a hundred systems, and each one of those systems has anywhere from one to six planets. And so there's an immense amount of travel and exploration and uh, decision making to make inside the game. And I saw inside you won Best Open World Game in there from some, some publisher. Uh, from a publisher. There you go. Um, yeah, we're excited. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I was going <laughs> to say, congratulations for winning that. It's got to be an accomplishment for you guys. You've got to be very proud of that. Yes, we're very excited for it. It's um, a, a very pleasant surprise to have somebody noticing the effort that we've put into this game. I think um, we have, we've made this game for, for everybody, but we've tried to stay true to it, to the original uh, players of this game, and I think they're going to be extremely pleased about the game and what we've done to it. Well, awesome. It's so exciting. People are trying to rush on through here, so I think we're going to... I just have one last question. One last question. What platforms uh, is World of Warships available for? Right now it's for PC. Okay, just Yeah, PC. yeah. Now you guys are moving <laughs> to Xbox One for... Yeah, so we're also here to announce that Xbox One is going to launch on July 28th, so open beta starts the weekend of the 11th and 12th, so everybody who downloads can get in, get a special rare tank, and get to play cross-play, so 360 and Xbox One users will be able to play against each other. That's a first. We're also going to have cross-platform chat. We've built our own system that's going to allow people to talk freely across. That's also uh, a big first for us. And we're introducing really PvE cool. mode, which for the World It Takes franchise has not happened before, where you can get a lot of practice in, um, explore the beautiful environments, test your skills against the AI before you go fight real people. Excellent, excellent. Well, you know, Wargaming, World of Warships, World of Tanks, Massive Riot, I know people are super excited about these games. I know they're going to have a lot of fun playing them. We're excited for them. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Keep it here on Press Start TV. Woo!